The piano is one of the most versatile instruments in the world. It can be heard in nearly all genres of music from classical to rock and roll. Even in this, one of the most important inventions in the history of music involves some very important physics concepts, that of waves and vibrations. Different instruments produce sound in different ways. For example, the hitting of a drum, the plucking of a string on a guitar, or even the movement of air through holes in a flute. Sound in the piano is produced by tiny hammers hitting strings of varying thicknesses. The strings vibrate, moving the air around them. They create compressions, areas where the air pressure is high, and rarefactions, areas where the air pressure is low. These compressions and rarefactions travel through the air in all directions until they reach the ear. Inside the ear, the sound is picked up by a vibrating membrane. As you go left on the piano, the strings become thicker and thicker as you approach the bass section. As thickness increases, pitch decreases. Towards the right side of the piano, the strings have a much smaller diameter. These thinner strings produce a higher pitch. The lowest note on the piano is 27.5 Hz, which is just above the lowest frequency the humans can hear, which is 20 Hz. The highest piano note is 4168.01 Hz, which is pretty high. When, a tu when tuning a piano, one must have a very good ear, unless an instrument is being used to measure the frequencies. If the pitch is too high, the key is sharp, and if it is too low, the key is flat. Musicians today use many mathematics and physics theories and concepts in the study of notes and music. It is amazing how physics has integrated itself into music, one of the most important art forms in human history.